So you've got some shiny things, which are not shiny anymore. Or you've got a watch in your watch collection that you want to sell, or maybe give to your friend or your family member who've been going on for ages how beautiful that watch looks. And that watch scratched like this. Well, in this video we'll investigate apparently a simple, fairly quick and cost-effective solution to this problem. And we'll see if we can bring that beautiful polish back to our shiny things. Hello and welcome to this first episode of 4 Minutes Thursday. Or um, is it 5 Minutes Friday? I'm not sure. Haven't settled with the name yet. But more importantly, it's going to be a weekly Q&A session where I'll try to answer some of your questions in the comments and share some tips and tricks and experiences that I pick up along this interesting journey of watch collecting. So make sure you hit that big subscribe button over there so you don't miss any future episodes. I have a Pagani design chronograph here, which is actively used as a daily beta by one of my relatives. I will leave a link in the description to the review of this watch. I also have another two stainless steel Pagani design watches with a very similar bracelets that have managed to pick up some scratches already. So let's see what we can do about the polish on the clasps of these bracelets. Here's what we will use for this exercise. So the active ingredient, as some of you might already guessed, will be Cape Cod metal polishing cloth. We will also need a buffing cloth and I'll be using one that came with one of my numerous Pagani design watches. But in case you don't have a suitable cloth handy, a paper towel should do just fine as well. Now, Cape Cod cloth is reusable and resealable. Also, of course, it can be used on another objects and rest assured I will give it a go if it really works the wonders it promises. Cape Cod states that this cloth can be used to polish a variety of metal surfaces, including silver, gold, bronze and stainless steel. So I'll be trying it today on my stainless steel bracelets. Another note, and this is particularly could be interesting to vintage watch collectors. The machinery polishing on the vintage watches might look pretty good, however, it tends to slash the value of the watch. Here, where this Cape Cod cloth might be potentially more suitable because it is much more gentle and less invasive compared to the machine level polishing. As I mentioned, we are aiming for a budget solution here, and because I was only testing, I opted for a 9 pound single pack, which has only two 4x6 cloth on it. The can option seems like a much better value for money because it contains 12 such cloths, protective gloves, and buffing cloth as well. What else we will need? Now, we will need a masking tape. This is because 1. Cape Cod cloth is geared for polished surface only and we don't want to apply it to brushed areas. And number 2. We don't want to disturb the original factory polish, which is still might be in a good condition. We will also use gloves because the Cape Cod cloth is a bit oily and will leave some dark residue. Also, polished surfaces are fingerprint magnets and gloves will help us to avoid this. Ok, let's get to work. So, step 1. Apply the masking tape. This is an important step because we will need to apply some pressure while polishing and it will be quite challenging not to slip into the areas that are not meant to be treated. So I found it easier to spend a bit of time applying the masking tape at the beginning of the process so not to worry that I can damage the edges and areas later. Step 2. Cut a small piece of Cape Cod polish. Yes, we don't really need a big piece to polish small areas. Step 3. Start polishing. Step 4. Stop polishing for a second. Buff with a buffing cloth or paper towel. And if it's not of the desired level of finish, repeat step 3 and step 4. And when you've finished and got to the desired level, step 5. Enjoy the shine. Ok. So, looks like the results are quite acceptable. Here are before and after pictures side by side. Right, the results. As you probably noticed, I only treated the clasps and left the links out this time. Looks like we've got most of the superficial little scratches out and restored the overall mirror finish. I specifically didn't polish the second watch so we could compare the results. Of course, the level of finish is not ideal, but there is definite improvement. And as I mentioned earlier, for some watches, like vintage watches for example, this could be as much as you want to interfere with the original finish anyway. 
So from my personal perspective, I will definitely use it. And yes, I can recommend this. I had to go through a few iterations of polishing and buffing in between to achieve the desired level of finish, each time taking about three minutes or so. And personally, I am quite satisfied with the result. Please let us know if you know of similar or even more budget-friendly way to polish your watch. And if you find this video helpful, hit that like button. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Hmm. Let's see if I can find more shiny things to polish. Right. What about another spoon?